Good morning and welcome to day three of my guide dogs training. I'm here in Worcester, the Premier Inn Hotel. Uh, it's the third day of class, it's Wednesday. Um, I'm here with my potential future guide dog, Abby. Say hello, Abby. Say hello. <laughs> um, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the two videos so far. Um, we well so far well it's about what time we got it's about quarter past eight i'm about to head out in well less than 15 minutes we're off to do another harness walk today i think we're working on indenting uh at it went crossing a road so uh, obviously some some junctions can be way too busy to cross on the sort of uh, sort of edge of the edge of the junction if that makes sense so uh, sometimes it's a sensible idea just to indent. There's a lot of places at, at my home where I'm walking down a main road where it's sensible to just indent because cars fly around the corner. So uh, we'll be practicing that indenting uh, and, then, and then crossing some, some more roads. So uh, remember, the training is important for me as well, but obviously it's massively important for, for the dogs. So um, let's see how it all goes. <laughs> Come on then, Abby, are you ready? Good girl. Let's pop your lead on. I'm ready, I'm ready. <laughs> Good girl. Right, I'll grab your harness. Again, so, just like uh, yesterday's video, or the last video, um, apologies if I don't capture everything on the camera, so the, the GoPro is currently on my chest chest mount because I need my hands free, um, and it's not got a well. First of all, I can't. It's not got a screen to it, so I can't ask him to check it, and obviously I can't see it myself. So uh, until I get up the footage later on this evening to check it all, I don't know if it's going to capture anything. But I'm hopefully getting it pointing in the right direction, um, and hopefully you can see what we're doing. But I'll try and explain everything that's happening uh, as much as possible but obviously I need to concentrate at the same time uh, on Abby so let's go sit I think you already are here's a clever girl good <laughs> girl <laughs> straight on then Good girl. Steady it down. Steady. Fix the shoulders. Good girl. That's it, so she's straightening herself. That's perfect. Good girl. Wait. There's obviously indented on the up curve. You want to go nice and straight across the road, but then she's got a sharp out dent. Yep, okay. Forward. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Straight on then, good girl. Good girl, find the way. Steady. Good girl. Wait. Wait, good girl. Ah. Good girl, wait. Forward. Straight on, good girl. Out dance. There we go. Good girl. Good girl, straight. Good girl. Good Good. I'm going to do a right turn here and I can say okay. she might anticipate it, so just be ready with that weight. Wait. Right. Good girl. Straight on. <laughs> Steady. Good girl. Ah, 
Uh, and SIT. Uh, sit. Okay, let's get to Good girl. Yay! Well done. Good girl. Good, well, wasn't it? That whole route was done without a guiding lead at yes, all. So yeah. um, you started to take control of her a little bit more now. Yeah, no, that was, that was very happy with that. Good. Very happy. Excellent, you did really well, hadn't you? In a lovely, nice well, and calm enough. as well. Yeah. Yeah. That's good, especially for this sort of early walk as well. Like Absolutely, she's going to be yeah, more yeah. excited about good, things yeah. and. Uh, there was shade there. There was a lot of shade down there, wasn't there? Good girl, Abs. Well done. Hello, Abby. <laughs> you little child. You are cheeky, you are. Come on then, let's get down because you're not supposed to be jumping up me. Good girl. Here's a good girl. Yeah. <laughs> You did well, didn't you? Eh? We did our first walk in harness without the training lead on it. So, uh, if you you might be able to see on the video uh, some, throughout some of today and yesterday as well, um, when we're out on the harness for the early days, uh, the trainer has a, a lead on as well, just for a bit of extra sort of control and guidance. Uh, but today, uh, we um, yeah we, we we did parts of the walk without that on, so it's a big step, uh, but it went really well. Uh, it's a very it's challenging. It's challenging today because um, we had uh, obviously it's another new route, um, which is a challenge for the dog and challenge for myself. Uh, although it's important because um, I mean at home you tend to work on obviously familiar routes, so you know exactly where you're going, etc. But it's ideal here because you, then you're just focusing exactly on what's happening with the dog uh, so you can really pick up on their habits and their traits so um, you know, so that was, that was good uh, we had a lot of uh, obviously indentations which obviously was the idea of today uh, we practiced a few left and right turns obviously which we went through in, in, yes, in, in the last video um, so if you haven't seen that make sure you go and check that out that was yesterday um, and we also um, had a few extra challenges thrown in there that was unexpected so obviously it was bin days so we had a few bins to be guided around and things like that but she did absolutely perfect you know uh, again she's a young do dog she's going to be easily distracted a bit by things and everything's new uh, she's with a new new owner uh, and all those things uh, when, you, when you throw that in uh, and you think you know uh, what a challenge it is for them but you know she, she did She's brilliant. You know, she's a little bit distracted. Wanted to look down a few driveways, but you know that's that's nothing. <laughs> so uh, went really good. I think t today, today, so I've got a little bit of time to rest, which is good. I've had a headache since this morning. Uh, didn't have the best sleep last night, so um, I'm gonna sit back and chill out for a bit. I think Abby's ready to chill out for a bit by the looks of things, and then um, I believe this uh, this afternoon. We have uh, somebody coming in to uh, talk to us about, I don't actually know what about just yet, so we'll find out later on, but again, um, I'll keep up to date on what's happening. So, uh, yeah, so this is day three uh, here in Worcester and um, Abby and I are getting on fantastically well. <laughs> okay, so we are back in the hotel. Uh, we've been out to do some no, I don't know what we did now. Also, we had a talk from somebody from Guide Dogs uh, regarding um, the vet sort of situation. Uh, it was a long time ago now. It was all so, so it was like the what to do with the vets, like where to go, the sort of treatment, sort of uh, how, the sort of welfare of the dog. So obviously not feeding them and the importance of, of that yeah yeah you know the the things to look out for with their sort of health and things like that so uh, yeah we had a good talk of, uh, of that obviously very important stuff um, and then following that we had uh, an obedience session so uh, we worked on um, you know just, just just basic stuff at the moment but getting the dogs to sit lay down um, sit you know, get up sit from a lay down position, um, walk, this is off the harness, so walk alongside you to the heel, uh, so they're not pulling, um, try and 
and then obviously walk around without them being distracted, so go past the other dogs without them you know, wanting to play, etc. So uh, we had a good session of that, that was uh, good fun. All the dogs did uh, amazingly well, especially to say this is only the third day, so um, they all did, did amazing to, uh, and all the dogs know each other as well, so they all, obviously you'd think they'd all want to play, I think that, but they all know their, their time, so uh, although Abby did uh, try and coerce a few into uh, getting up from the laying down positions and to, to play. Abby, <laughs> what are you doing? Um, so, uh, hello, hello, what are you giving me for you? You seem all, awful excited about it. You're expecting food because it's not dinner time yet. No, you've got another hour yet. I know what you want though. Yeah, shall I show them? Shall I show them what you've got? Yeah. Okay, let's uh, have a look at this. You are thinking it's food. I just picked up her, I realised that I left her cup for her food in the uh, in the bathroom on the side. So I've just picked it up to put it back into her food and I think she thinks that she's going to be fed, although it's not dinner time for an hour yet. So because uh, it's currently only uh, 4 p.m. So in this bag over here uh, we have the vet book so you don't need to see that. That's uh, yeah, boring, boring stuff really. But we have we have this. Whoa! Whoa! What's this? Let me take the tags off though. Let me take the tags off. You can't uh, play with the tags. Bear with. Bear with, bear with, let me uh, just put you on there, let's double Oh god. Where's he gone? Right, try that again. I'm just gonna put you there for a minute. Oh! What is that? Oh, everything's going. Chaos, chaos. You take the tights off and you can play. Wait. Good girl, wait. Wait. Wait, good girl. Down. Good. Good girl. Get it. Yay! Whoa! She's so excited. <laughs> That's all you've got. You've got. She's got a Kong. We've nothing to go in at the moment, unfortunately. Um, and. I've got a nice, healthy bone, which I'll give her at uh, probably later on for all her good work. She seems pretty happy with a dinosaur. I think that's what it is a dinosaur. So she seems pretty happy with that. What you got? Where you go? <laughs> yeah, you've deserved that. You've done. You've worked well. You've worked hard. Can I have it? Can I have it? No. <laughs> Bless her. Yeah. So um, day three's gone gone really well. Uh, one of the things we also talked about, which. Um, uh, you know, I want to explain to you. It's, it's quite important because uh, I know from my <coughs> four years so far of um, well, nearly five years actually of being a, a guide to and One of the questions I a get asked a lot is, uh, "How do the dogs know where they're going?" Um, and the simple answer is, uh, they well, they don't really. It's uh, they're they're not. It's not like they're sat now, so you can't just say to them, "Oh, you know, take me, take me to the shop," or bear with. Well, sorry about that. The, uh, the yeah, the trainer came in uh, just to refill her food, so uh, she's all excited now. Again, still thinks she's getting food, but not yet. Sorry, I've got away. <laughs> but um, yeah, as I was saying, so uh, yeah, you know, it's not as simple as saying to them, "Take me to the shop," or "Take me to the doctor's," or "Or take me to to so and so's house." Um, you know, it it it's very much a, a team effort, and. Um, Guide dogs tend to work uh, in in a straight line principle, so that pretty much means when you 
come out and you're 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 working on on the pavements, you you tend to walk in straight lines until uh, you you tell a dog to do otherwise. So and obviously that doesn't mean you go walking completely straight because that wouldn't that defeats the objects. Obviously, if there's obstacles in the way or if the the road naturally curves around, then the dog will will follow that. But the straight straight uh, line principle means. Uh, what you'll do is you tell your dog, dog to go forward and go in a straight line. Uh, well, tell to go straight, sorry, not not necessarily in a straight line. And the dog will head in that direction until you either give it another command to, you know, turn to go to a curb or when you reach the, the curb. So if you're walking forward, you'll then come to, say, for example, to a road. Um, the dog will then take you up to the, the curb at that road, so if there's a drop curb, the dog will find that. Uh, when it reaches there, it will sit, as I sort of explained yesterday, this is the process of when you get to a curb. You then give it the commands to, you know, uh, well, give it, a, give it a praise for doing the, the right things, tell it to wait, and then it's up to the guide owner, so, you know, myself, to then say whether we're going to go straight on, so whether we're going to cross that road, whether we're going to turn right, turn left, or in some situations you may go back on yourself as well. So um, it's very much a, like I say, a team effort. Um, I need to know where I'm going at all times, and I need to be able to confidently give directions to the dog. The dog's responsibility is to take me around any obstacles in, in that direction that I've told it to walk, uh, and it's also there to take its initiative as well. So um, you know there are occasions where... You know, if there's something blocking the road, the dog will then have to do a uh, sorry, well blocking the path. The dog will do um, take it, use its initiative to get uh, get round that obstacle. So if there's space, then it will just you know divert off of the current uh, straight path path and and go around that. Um, if it's completely blocking the curb, well that's a, a you know a, a different situation, and this is something that we'll cover. You will certainly cover later on in the uh, in this series, and you'll get to see that firsthand as well. I'll make sure the camera's running. We we will practice. Um, it's called an an off curb obstacle. So uh, we'll show you what we'll do, what the dog would do in that situation, and what you would do as a guide owner to get around that situation. So that'll be coming up uh, later on in this uh, in this training series. Um, so again, we 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 talked about the straight line principle and why it's important. It's important that the guide again is always in control. Uh, the dog is able to use initiative, you know, when it when it needs to, which is obviously the uh, the point of a, a you know a guide dog leading a, um, a blind or visually impaired person. Uh, but ultimately, it's always the guide again who is in control. So there's the answer to that question. It's not as simple as going out and saying to the dog, "Take me to such and such." Um, later on down the line. Uh, I know with Hudson, for example, uh, places that we visit regularly, so the, um, you know, the Cobb Cabin, which you've all obviously heard about quite a lot, or uh, the gym or Pets at Home, places like that, obviously, we, we visit a lot, and after years and years of establishing those routes, I could then say to him, this is where we're going to be, yeah, I could say we're going to you know, find the Cobb Cabin, etc. Uh, and he'll know what I mean, but even then, it's still you do the same principle, you still walk in the straight lines, you still stop at the same curbs, you still give the same um, <clears throat> the same directions and, um, you know, just to maintain that control at all times. So um, hopefully that's something new that you've uh, learned again today. So um, we're, we're done now for today. Um, it's just, we're just going to chill out now for the evening. It's now uh, nearly five o'clock, so... I'm going to feed Abby in a minute, which you'll see, because I know, obviously, the camera died the other day, so I missed the feeding process, so I'll do that, uh, well, in a minute. Uh, and then after that, uh, I'll chill out for a little bit. Dinner's at six for myself. Um, and then this evening, I'm going to try and get an early night, because uh, I didn't sleep too well last night. So uh, it'll be an early night, and then, obviously, tomorrow will be Thursday. It'll be day four of training, and... Uh, it all goes again. I'm not sure what we're going to be working on tomorrow, so uh, that's um, going to be a surprise for me as well as you. So, um, yeah, make sure if you enjoyed this, give us a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. As there's a lot more videos coming up. We've got we've got five weeks of training. A lot of it um, is going to be at home. 
so I won't be filming everything that day because it's going to be a, a mixed bag but I'll still be covering a lot of what we're doing uh, so there's still so much more to, to come yet so uh, please make sure you're subscribed and if you're enjoying these um, you know, let, us, let me know and uh, if you also have any questions please feel free to drop them in the comments below and I will do my best to, to answer those comments um, whether it be in a video or I'll just directly reply to your comment which, whichever way but um, again thanks for your support keep sharing uh, I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely loving this journey I'm hoping you're enjoying uh, having this uh, special insight to this process thank you again to Guide Dogs for allowing me this opportunity giving me special permission to to uh, film some of these things and um, I'll see you tomorrow